Hey everyone, it's Chrono Jamo from Archezoic Pictures and today we'll be making a pretty nice intro uh, using various plugins such as Trap Code Particular, Video Code Pilot Optical Flares and many more. So let's dive straight in. So you first want to go to Composition, New Composition and just call it Intro for now. Maybe uh, hmm, space intro because it's kind of more sp space like than anything else. Uh, just make the duration 20 seconds. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, I'll just leave that at the default. I uh, can't remember what the default is. I'm just going to guess. So I'll just leave it like that. Um, so yeah, click OK. Uh, just fit it if you want. Uh, you don't want to hold down control and press Y. Uh, just make this background. Uh, what you want to do now is you want to go effect track code particular. What you want to do now is you want to go to the emitter and you want to just change the point to box then want to go to mission extras and you want to set the pre-run to 100 once you've done that you want to just yeah you want to make the emitter size x 2000 along with the emitter size y and the emitter size z so we're at 200. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to just minimize that. You want to go into the particle. Uh, you want to make it, yeah, leave that a sphere. Um, you just want to make the size 2.5. You then want to go to opacity over life and select this one here. Then you want to go to size over life and do the same. Uh, once you've done that, uh, you then want to hold down control. Wait, no. Go layer new uh, adjustment layer. You then want to go effect stylize scene glow. So once you've got that, you then want to change the glow colors to A and B colors. Change the white to 205, 50, press enter. Change this black, 205. 100, 100, press enter. You then want to make the glow intensity 4. You might want to increase this a bit, or maybe just leave it and to make this 8. Just zoom in, see what you're doing. Yeah, that will have to do for now. So once you've got that, uh, you then want to, uh, let's see, oh yeah of course, if we do anything you want to go to the particle, back down to the particle, and you want to change the feather to 0 0.5, so it's nice and, cr they're nice and crisp, oh actually I think it's 10, yeah it's 10, so once you've got that, uh, they'll start to look more like stars. Um, so yeah, you can copy this layer, Control D, and you can uh, just put this down here, and you can put this. Make uh, okay, just go to particle, change the sphere to cloudlet, uh, and you want to go down to the size, and you want to change that to 40, and just keep going up until you're happy with the size. I have to do for now. You then want to change the opacity to 50. Just keep taking it down until you're happy with it. Uh, let's see. Be just say 6. Obviously, not 6, but I don't really care. Uh, 3. Let's 
0 0.5 looks the best. Uh, okay, so you can then change the color to 205, 25, okay. Just looking pretty nice so far. Of course, it's extremely slow, but you know. She's got a bit of it, but anyway, once it's rendered, it will look fine. So once you've got that, uh, you want to create some text. So I'm just going to check the time. Okay. Um, so you just want to get your text layer. Oh well, tool. Sorry. Um, I'd say Typograph Pro, semi bold. Uh, take seventy two. White. Type in your name. And you want to go time action safe, put that in the middle. Okay, have to do for now. Just turn it off. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to have some effects to this. So maybe effect generate ramp. I'm going to make, I'm just going to quickly, just going to drop these down here. Okay, so I'm in the black. Hmm, let's see. Uh, 75. And. Wait a minute, that's wrong. Make this 75. And then make the white. In fact, I'm going to leave that. That looks pretty nice. So you can now. Um, I mean, you can give it a shadow if you want. Lay style. Drop shadow. Or you can just leave it as it is. I'm just going to leave it like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of... Wait a minute, just make selected layers. So, um, is you're gonna, just going to blur it out first. So just go effect, blur and sharpen, fast blur. Uh, set a keyframe for the bur blurriness. Make that about 100 here. Zero. And go to 